Hello, I'm Jonathan from Mental Help, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about OCD and the hold that it can have over us. Even though it's a monster and it's trying to spoil our lives, we've really not got to be afraid of it. And that's kind of easier said than done. I wanted to give an analogy. Now, I was reading something quite interesting the other day. It was a little bit like how these, um, these elephants in the wild can actually uproot whole trees. I mean, they just can barge into them and rip them out of the floor. Now, I've had a JCB and I can't seem to pull the things out with that. You know, it's really hard work, so they're incredibly strong. But when you see these elephants in zoos, for example, they're held with a small piece of rope, which is a very light chain. They could break that any time they want, but they don't. The reason they don't and can't mentally do it is because they were brought up from being a, a baby elephant and they were trained to be tied to this piece of rope. And when they first were tied up with it, they would try to break free from it and escape with all their might, but it was too strong for them back then. But over the years, as they've grown up, they have become institutionalised into the fact that this rope exists. It's a bit like a, a bully and a monster in the sense that we struggle with our OCD. We believe sincerely that we can actually change because we've tried all our life, especially if we had it when we were younger. And it's a little bit different, isn't it? Because the elephant, obviously, it could just rip that rope away. But who's saying that we can't do that with OCD? I don't think we can stop OCD from bothering us, but I think we can build up a resilience so that we can deal with it on a daily basis. I've been doing some studies on the brain. Now, I haven't done any studies. I've been reading about some stuff. Imagine me doing studies on the brain. I would get me a little uh, Black & Deck and put a hole in there, pull that little bit out. What's that bit? It's a bit squidgy. Pop it back in. You all right? Oh, not talking. I don't think that would be good for me to do experiments on the brain. I've been reading about studies on the human brain and the mind. And they've now come to the conclusion, because you know, they keep changing their mind, don't they? One minute you can eat sugar, then next it's bad. One minute you can eat a banana, then next you mustn't touch them. Now they're saying, I like this, I'm going to go with this. Now they're saying that people can learn things incredibly well when they are a bit older. I used to just think it was in the teenage and young, young years. But it's proven that's not the case. We can keep on learning and, and we can do it really well when we're older, apparently. So that's good. We can retrain the brain. There's loads and loads of research about retraining the brain and eradicating habits and ways we think. It's been proven that you can actually change those things. I'm excited by that because I, I want to change. I want to become stronger in my mind against the things that keep on coming in and stopping me living a happier, fulfilling life. And then once I've done that, I don't mean nothing else to do. Well, who will? Because I want to help everybody else with it. So I'm going to do some research on that and look into that. I'm struggling at the minute with lots of things. And I'm sure that you are. I'm sure that you're not watching this going, oh, let's just watch this bloke whittle on about whatever. You could be watching a really good film, couldn't you? You're probably watching this because you are in the same boat as many of us are with OCD. Whether I'm doing a compulsion checking, oh, my eyes, I suppress Tourette's a lot, and my eye just starts to twitch. <laughs> so instead of actually physically doing the twitch, it starts to sort of tingle in the back in the, oh dear. Talked about OCD being a bully and also a monster that wants to keep getting fed by your compulsions. We keep giving into it. I did talk about how we can't look at OCD and then go, let's fight OCD. It's too big an issue and a disorder if we just try and fight OCD. We have to compartmentalize OCD into some kind of a character that we can understand, like a bully, like a monster, so we can see it. Let's put it. OCD, let's get our OCD, and let's pop it on the table there. It's this monster, okay? And then let's take ourselves, and let's pop ourselves on the table here. And that's us. Now, we are a human being. We are not at fault for what OCD is doing to us and making us feel the thoughts it keeps driving into our head. So we are completely, in a sense, separate from OCD. So we are not the problem. OCD is the problem on its own. It is just the monster on its own. And we have to do battle with that monster. Otherwise, it's just going to keep on pushing us and spoiling our lives. 
But one of the first things I would suggest doing is confiding in somebody who you completely trust and can talk to about those things. Become sort of accountable to them in the sense of opening up about the bully that you face and how you want some support with fighting it. We're not going to be scared of it. It's just a cowardly bully with no teeth. In fact, <laughs> I'd even be as crazy as to suggest giving the monster a name so you can identify it and you can focus on battling it better. So we're going to stop getting bullied. We're going to stop getting dominated by this idiot monster that we're going to give a name. Jeff. Call it Jeff. Let's really humiliate it. Sorry to anyone who's called Jeff, by the way. Oh, Jeffrey's a very nice name. It was in the 50s. Anyway. Oh, just, and I just, oh, just lost all the subscribers called Jeff now. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to keep this short. A bit of a positive, optimistic speech. I'm really struggling at the minute. And I'm doing these to fire back at Jeff. <laughs> I'm definitely calling it Jeff. Oh, dear. I think, I think I will call it Jeff. Please subscribe, please like, and go and fight your Jeff. See you later.